Hi, I'm Randy with Wiregrass Brewing. Welcome to my garage, lay garage if you will. And I have a, a mission to make. I'm addicted to brewing beer. Can't help it. And what I'm doing in my garage next over the next couple weeks is I'm going to make a walk-in cooler for my fermentation chamber. So it's going to be four by six, 28 inch door, and I'll be able to hold about eight, nine vessels in there. So I'm really stoked on doing this. You can see I've cleaned out my corner of the garage. I made some markings on the wall. I'm going to start to get the studs up, get the insulation in, get the uh, AC unit plugged in, and then we'll be able to control temperature and I'll be able to brew all year long and, and uh, not have to worry about refrigerators and everything else. So this is day one. Thanks for watching. Well, welcome to day two. You can see I got my framing up. I got my front and my back. Next thing I gotta do is put the two sides in. And then I can run my wire, my insulation. Got my door frame cut out. Okay, we'll see how much progress I make today. Well, it's day three here at the Wiregrass Brewing construction site for my new uh, walk-in cooler. You can see I got the door in, got my framing up. I ran my electrical yesterday, this is day three. I started running some insulation up. This is where the AC unit's gonna go up here and a controller to keep it at 68 degrees. So we're getting there. But again, this is day three, I'll keep you updated. Well, it's day number four here at Wiregrass Lay Garage. And you can see I've got my insulation in, all my framing and studding. This is where the AC unit's gonna go right there. A little dark in here, I'm running electrical. But you can see I got it all framed out. I got my electrical run. I've got the cutout for the air conditioner the AC for the air conditioner. I got my roof in, so doing pretty well. This is day number four. Thanks for joining. Okay, it's day number five here at the Wiregrass. A lot of tedious work now because I had to run all the electrical. Got my light in. All the receptacles are working fine. I've checked them all. I'll be putting paneling in everything tomorrow and I'll be getting a new uh, light for in here a lot dimmer because of the fermentation but uh, we're getting there it's all cleaned out again this is uh, six foot by four foot and we'll be putting the AC in tomorrow I hope maybe tomorrow maybe maybe the next day but it'll be in there soon Well, it's day six, and I've completed my project. It's my own personal walk-in fermenter cooler. You can see I've got all this sheeting up on the outside. Let's go take a look. Got my door in, my handle. I've got styrofoam on the inside of the door to prevent some leakage of air, hopefully. Power switch, white receptacle up here. I got my bench here for all my fermenters and another row at the bottom for my smaller guys. I'm going to install my fast ferment over here on the wall. Get that back into use. I've got my AC unit up here. I've got my controller for that. I'll install that today. Catch a little basin over here to catch any drippage. I'll stain the walls and we're good to go. And it is Labor Day. So for Labor Day, we're doing a, a Labor Day ale.
got my northern brewer nuggets in there. Well, this will be the first day I use the fermenter after I do my brew there. And we'll take some pictures later. Thanks.